I'm coming off of my worst quarter ever, y'all. Stay tuned and I'll tell y'all about it. Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Graylin Stewart. Thanks for joining me today. I am an entrepreneur and a wholesaler and just a real estate investor. So my channel is all about wholesaling real estate. So I teach you all the ins and outs of it, all the good and the bad of it, and everything in between. So I just try to keep it real, tell you everything from my life experiences, from what happens in our business every single day. This can be a very rewarding, very, a very, beneficial you know financially you know and all those things it could be amazing but it can also suck a lot of times and you know there's you know like I said there's ups and downs and I just try to tell you the truth about it all so today's video I'm gonna talk to you about our worst quarter ever so I started in late 2018 so I had a first quarter of 2019 2020 2021 and now 2022 so I've had four first quarters so far and believe it or not, this was our worst fourth, our, our worst first quarter, even from my first year, it was worse than that, which is crazy. But I will tell you that my first year, you know, right out of the gate, I killed it. So, you know, I had a really good first quarter my very first year. So that's, there's that. But at the same time, it was just, it was a struggle, you know, this quarter, you know, and a lot of it is because of what you do in November, December. So keep in mind this business, you know, when you do deals, you're doing wholesaling deals. It takes typically on average, I think for us, uh, it usually takes around 60 days to close a deal. So that's that's from contract signing initially till you finally end up getting closed at the end. Because, you know, we don't just wholesale. We also do novation deals and we do flips as well. But we do a lot of wholesales as well. I mean, that's our main, main goal is to wholesale every deal. But not every deal is wholesalable, so we end up flipping some and we end up doing novations on some as well. So, and we hotel some as well. But nevertheless, on average, between all of the deals that we have going together, it's usually about a 60 day close. So that's exactly why this was my, my worst first quarter ever, because so really the activities and, and things that we did in November and December are what closed, you know, January and February. So, you know, March uh, was a lot better, but, but what we did in January and February was not that great. Uh, and that's, that's exactly why is because what we did in November and December. So what happened in November and December, you probably ask. So obviously there's two major holidays in those two months, but that hasn't really affected us in the past. So I don't really account for that this year either, this past year. What it really was is one of my main people uh, was out, uh, you know, kind of remodeling their personal house. So they were out a lot for that. And then one of my other main people were out for personal reasons because of their family members uh, were ill and helping them along. So because of that, that's two of my main acquisition managers that weren't available necessarily to, to do all their follow-up, you know, because keep in mind in wholesale and real estate, Follow-up is everything. So, you know, new leads are great and are one thing, but getting a one-call close is very rare in this business. If you can get those, it's awesome. We might do a couple of those a year at best, um, but for the most part, it takes a good 10 to 20 times of following up with somebody before we even get a deal, okay? So because of those two months and my two main people kind of out most of that time or a lot of that time at least, you know, that hurt us because they weren't doing their follow-up. Sure, we were still getting new leads and they were able to kind of talk to those here and there. And, you know, I was trying to take some new leads, but I don't really necessarily have time to do acquisitions because I'm running this business. Uh, I do all the marketing for it. Uh, I'm thinking the visionary things for long-term uh, growth and things like that. And I make content like this every day as well. So I'm spread thin, you know, to say the least, but you know, I love what I do. So I wouldn't change that for anything, but that's, that's why though. So, so y'all got to just realize a wholesale deal. Like if you started today, yes, you can absolutely close the deal. If you got something signed today, you can close the deal in a couple of weeks. Obviously, you know, I've done that many times, but 
on average because we're mixing in wholesaling, hoteling, fix and flips, uh, and novations all. Uh, our average is kind of like a 60 day cycle, you know, for that cash. So uh, that's that's exactly why our first quarter was, you know, not great. I mean, it was still good for the average person out there and the average business even. Uh, it was amazing. But from what we're used to and with what we have going on, it just wasn't up to par. Uh, but that's okay because that's, that's the good part about quarters, right? There's four of them. So we got one quarter down, but we have three quarters left. So uh, the second quarter is going to be amazing. The first eight days of April, actually, we have one hundred and thirty nine dollars, one hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars rather in projected profits. You know, that will close this month. And that's not even including a flip that we just finished a couple of days ago. We literally listed this deal on Friday, this past Friday, uh, which I think was April, I don't know, 7th or 8th or whatever that was. We had two showings that same night. And then Saturday, the very first person that looked at it actually gave us a full price ask. Didn't ask for anything. You know, a lot of people will ask for, you know, pay some of their sellers, you know, the, the uh, buyer's closing costs or, or different things like that. A lot of times they'll ask for things, but they didn't ask for anything and they gave us full price. And usually when I do flips, I price them a little bit higher than the average you know that's out there because i think my house is nicer than a lot of them you know i never over improve a property but at the same time i always think it's nicer because i do nice finishes and we do a good job so nevertheless we got you know basically our first offer within 24 hours that we accepted you know it was full price so hopefully that'll close soon so that 130 138 or 39 or whatever it was in the first eight days doesn't even include that. So technically in projected profit with that, cause we're projected to make about 56,000 on that one. So, you know, we're looking at $200,000 in the first eight days in projected profits for this quarter. And we're only eight days in to a 90 day quarter basically, right? So that's that's what it takes y'all. You know, that's, that's the upside in this business. You know, there's ups and downs. Uh, so yeah, we had a down quarter, but we're on the upswing already. So we're definitely going to blow the first quarter out of the water. No question. You know, everybody is back full fledged now. Uh, we're doing two marketing channels, uh, you know, one of which we've done for years since I've started cold calling, but we're doing cold calling at a whole new level. Now we've hired this company that a lot of big players, a lot of my friends use, uh, which is really how I found out about them. So we hired this company and they give us crazy hot leads every single day and when i say hot leads i'm talking about these people already want you know 40 to 70 percent of the actual arv so that in itself is amazing so that and then we added tv you know starting this quarter as well and we've already gotten deals from both of those uh, and of course radio has always been big for us we're still on three radio channels which is killing it so yeah this quarter is going to be you know it's going to be killer we're probably just in the month of april most likely, I'm guessing, we'll probably end up doing better than first quarter just in this one month. So a second quarter is going to be huge, y'all. But but I guess the moral of this of the story is to never give up. Keep going. Keep doing what you know works, you know, because there's, like I said, there's always ups and downs. But I know what we're doing works. And I know why we had a bad quarter. You know, that's important, too. If you really know your numbers and know everything going on in your business then you know exactly where to kind of point fingers or blame you know and i point that directly to the uh you know it correlates to my people being out you know that's why uh, people are the biggest asset in your company so hiring the right people for the right jobs you know put the right people in the right seats uh is is definitely key you know because this is a team player game and we all work together as a team and um you know that's that's really how how it all happens so we're all back in full stride now i am still hiring always we're always hiring you know because we're always trying to grow you can't grow without people um you know so we're always looking you know for really good strong solid people to help grow you know exponentially so anyways that's kind of my story on you know our bad quarter but it doesn't phase me you know that's the thing you know um, a lot of people that would phase them and some people would quit because of it because really uh, first quarter we've spent more than we've ever spent as well on top of that so profit wise it was really our worst quarter by far 
you know, but just revenue wise, it was our worst, but also we're spending more than I've ever spent ever in my life on advertising. Uh, so our overhead is a lot higher, you know, during that quarter as well. But second quarter, man, it's, it's already on the upswing. Um, yes, spending that money is worth it. Um, having good people is worth it. Paying them what they're worth is worth it, you know, because we all win in the end when that happens. So anyways, hopefully you got some value from this. I hope so. Definitely give me a like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, I'm cool with the thumbs down as well. I got thick skin, so it doesn't bother me at all. But nevertheless, hit the subscribe button, share this with your friends for other people that might want to see this or need to see this even, you know, cause I do give out a lot of free information on this channel to where you can completely start your own wholesaling business through the things that I teach you. And by the way, I do have an absolutely free wholesaling course at graylandstuart.com. You can find it on there. So anyways, thank you guys for sticking around. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.